Hey guys, welcome to Emacs. Let's do some maths for fun. Today, we are going to try some coffin question. 4 times the square root of 4x plus 1 equals to x squared minus 1. Okay, let me write it down for you. First, we look at the question. We have a square root at the square. Is it a third question or a quadratic question? Hmm, we don't know, right? So what should we do? What can we do? Maybe the first step we'll just divide both sides by 4 so that this 4 and 4 can cancel. Our left hand side will have a square root of 4x plus 1. Our right hand side is x squared minus 1 over 4. And now we have a square root on left hand side, a square on right hand side. What should we do? Maybe we try to square both sides to get rid of this square root, right? So I'll try to square it so that this square root and square can cancel on left hand side we'll just have 4x plus 1 on right hand side we have a x square minus 1 square over 4 square and we know that when we have a a minus b square is actually equals to a square then plus with a b square in the back then minus 2 times a times negative b which is negative 2ab so in this case, it will be x. When we x square, we square again, we'll have a x to the fourth. Then plus 1 in the back, minus 2x square in the middle, over 4 square is just 16. On left hand side, this 4x plus 1. Hmm, we have a fourth degree here, which is no good, right? Because we don't know how to solve quadratic equation. So, don't do this no don't do this all right what should we do then we have a square root of 4x plus 1 on left hand side and x squared minus 1 over 4 on right hand side if you look at it carefully these two are just very similar and i will tell you that right hand side is the inverse of left hand side or left hand side is the inverse of right hand side depends on which one you think is original okay let me show it to you I will let this right hand side be f of x so that it's easier for me. Okay, fx equals to x squared minus 1 over a 4. Then we will let f inverse be y so that f of y will be equal to x. Okay, then we will change all the x in this equation become y. So we will have a f of y equals to y squared minus 1 over 4 then we'll let this be equation 1 let this be equation 2 sub equation 1 into equation 2 both of them have f of y as left hand side so we can just write y squared minus 1 over 4 equals to x how do you want? we want f inverse which is y so I will express y in terms of x okay so y equals to multiply both sides by 4, we'll have a 4x. Then add 1 to both sides, we'll have plus 1. Square move to the other side become square root. So f inverse will be equals to square root of 4x plus 1, which is the same as left hand side. Okay, so now we know that f of x is equals to f inverse of x. What is so special about this? We know that when we plot a graph of function, in this case, it will be a quadratic graph. Okay, something like this. This is a graph of fx. When we plot f inverse on the same plane, we know that it will just be the reflection on the line y equals to x. Let me write, draw it out for you using this blue color. This is a line of y equals to x. When we draw the inverse, it will just be the reflection on this line. So the line uh, the graph of f inverse will be something like this. Okay, this will be f inverse. And now notice that I'll write a note for you. F inverse is a square root function, which is a, a square root of something. And we know that for square root of a, it is not a real number if 
a is smaller than zero means the square of negative will be undefined or it will involve imaginary number therefore on this graph we cannot plot any points below the x-axis I will erase this part this is how the graph will look like okay then now you look at it carefully f of x and f inverse of x will intersect on the line y equals to x in other words f of x and f inverse of x have solution on the line y equals to x what can we do now we know that this y can be f of x then let me write down for you equals to x and earlier we said that f of x is equals to f inverse of x so we can combine the equation f inverse of x equals to f of x equals to x and now we can form two equations from this which is f inverse of x equals to x and f of x equals to x now we have two equations square root of 4x plus 1 equals to x and x squared minus 1 over 4 equals to x and they are basically the same so no matter which one you choose when you solve until the end you will get the same answer just pick one and choose okay for the first one ah we can now square both sides square root and square can cancel we have a 4x plus 1 on the left side and a x squared on the right side then now we move this 4x plus 1 to the other side so we have a x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals to 0 and this is a quadratic equation we can use the formula okay how about this one we multiply both sides by 4 so this 4 and 4 can cancel we have x squared minus 1 equals to 4x move this 4x to the other side we have x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals to 0 as you can see these two quadratic equations are the same so we'll just use the formula okay a equals to 1 b equals to negative 4 and c equals to negative 1 now we just have to sub this a b and c into the quadratic formula x equals to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a c over 2 a okay negative negative become positive 4 plus or minus square root of negative 4 square is 16 negative negative become positive 4 over 2 so we have 4 plus or minus square root of 20 over 2 then now simplify this 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus or minus square root of 20 we can simplify okay let me write down for you square root of 20 equals to 20 is 4 times 5 and we know that square root of a times square root of b equals to square root of a times b so this will just be square root of 4 times square root of 5 and square root of 4 is just 2 times square root of 5 okay, so for this part here it will just be 2 times square root of 5 over 2 2 and 2 can cancel it will be 2 plus or minus square root of 5 and that's the answer sorry uh, I forgot something very important in the video we should always sub in the value of x into the equation to check our answers so when x equals to 2 plus square root of 5, we will have a true equation. So x equals to 2 plus square root of 5 is the solution. But when x equals to 2 minus square root of 5, we will get a false equation. Therefore, 2 minus square root of 5 is not a solution for that equation. Therefore, we should only tag x equals to 2 plus square root of 5, which is approximately 4.236. Because the curve only intersect once in the graph. Remember how we defined earlier? Because f inverse is a square root function. Actually, I came up with this question inspired by Black Pen Red Pen. You guys can check out his channel. It's fantastic. It's awesome. 
It's mainly on linear algebra and calculus. Alright, so that's all for today. If you like Emacs, see you guys in the next video.